Hello everybody, my name is Cyberwolf, and well, uh, well, first off, happy Halloween everybody, and welcome back to Midnight Scenes. Um, this one is episode two, and if you don't remember, like, a few months back, maybe, um, might have been sometime last year, actually, that I played the first one. Um, but this one just recently came out, and, um, I didn't really see what it's about, but it, if it's Midnight Scenes, it's gonna be a little creepy. Um... Anyways, so, uh, the eye. Welcome, players from all dimensions. In tonight's episode of Midnight Scenes, we follow Dr. Richard P. Griffin during the scariest journey of his life. For Dr. Griffin, things will never be the same again. Turn off the lights and relax. Midnight Scenes will begin after this quick word from our sponsor. Turn off the lights. Alright, let, let me, let me just, um... I'm gonna turn off my lights over here. Make it a little bit spooky. Ugh. There we go. Now we can up the, up the spook factor, but because it's still like noon, there's still sunlight coming through my windows, and it looks like cloud is coming over, so that's perfect. Support your indie devs. Buy this game for one dollar or more. Get my eternal gratitude. Buy it for five dollars more. Get the awesome Midnight Scenes Episode Two PDF art book. Midnight Scenes. A short game by Oct Oct Octavi Navarro. Navarro? Hmm, excuse me. Madison, my love! Wait, what what just happened? It looks it feels like it just crashed. Okay. That was weird. I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. If I had known that our goodbye at this airport was to be our last, I'd have told you everything. I hope this note will reach you someday. That would mean my fears are unfounded. I'll be gone just a few days, Madison. A week at most, I promise. I just don't understand why this work meeting is so pressing. I mean, making you across the country out of the blue with almost no notice. We were supposed to be visiting Dad at the lake this weekend. You know I wouldn't go if it wasn't important. That gas leak at the lab last night its put everyone on edge. You told me it was nothing. Should I be worried? No, it was only a small accident. Everything's under control. They just need me to do some paperwork. You know uh, how these things are. I'll call you as soon as I get to Washington, okay? <laughs> walk, 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 walk. Plane hostess. Good evening, sir. May I see your ticket, please? Yes, uh... Where did I put it? Richard, here! It fell from your pocket. My love, you've been distracted all day. Is there something worrying you? Everything's fine, my dear. I have to go now, or I'll be late. I love you. Alright. May I see your ticket, please? Here's the ticket. Thank you, sir. Have a nice flight. Alright. Let's board the plane. Tonight's episode, the goodbye note. Woo! Hold up. Uh, can I go over here? Nothing to click on. Alright. Man, I feel like they definitely upped up the, um... Oh wait, I can click on these? 4A. I'm not sure that's my seat. And it's probably 5A. 5A. I'm not sure that's my seat. I should probably check my ticket. Oh. 5A. I mean, it really is the only one empty, so... Excuse me, sir. Let me help you put your suitcase in the overhead compartment. No, thank you. I'll carry it with me. I'm sorry, sir. The regulations. 
It'll stay with me, thank you. Whatever. That wasn't kind of spooky at all. Taking this plane was a mistake. I trapped myself. Is there gonna be a gremlin on the plane? Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering a thunderstorm and may experience some turbulence. Please remain seated with your be with your belts fastened. Are we gonna crash? Your wine, sir. Oh my god, is something going to appear on the fucking wing? Oh, wait, no, it's gonna get struck by lightning, isn't it? Can lightning make a plane explode, Mom? <laughs> Just try to sleep, dear. <laughs> oh. Did we just die? What? No, no, no! No, leave me alone! What have you done to all these people? You'll never get the Elysian while I'm alive, you hear me? Never! My head is spinning so fast right now. You might be wondering the real reason I got on that on this plane. You knew I was hiding something. It all started last night in the lab. Sorry it's so late, honey. I had to review this long checklist before calling it a day, but I'm on my way now. Ooh, had a little bit spill out. No, I don't think I'll go to Coleman's party now. I don't even have a present for him. And, you know, nobody will miss me anyway. Go to bed. I'll be home soon. Spooky noise. Hello? Who's there? What was that noise? It came from the control station. What a mess. Uh, switch? Okay. H hello? Is anyone in here? Nothing to click on. It's a further control room door, which is slightly creaked open. Oh, hi. Linda! You scared me to death. I thought you were at Coleman's party with everyone else. Oh, Richard, thank God you're still here. We might have a problem. I think the clean room might be compromised. Wait, what? What happened? I was doing maintenance on the main console when I heard noises coming from the roof. Listen. Did you hear it? We might have a small animal trapped in the vents. But that's impossible. The whole area is sealed. Is it, though? Damn. Do you think it might be a rat? A bird? Anything from outside the sealed unit would be enough to uh, contaminate the whole air system and ruin months of research. I better get the clean room and make sure the Elysian is secure. Yes, good idea. We should be able to unlock the clean room, clean room doors from the from this console. But Coleman is the only one who knows how this thing works. Let's take a look. Please insert code. We need to use the correct combination of keys to enable this console. I know Coleman keeps a list of codes somewhere. I'll wait here while you find it. Please hurry up. I'm going to assume it is somewhere at his mess of a desk. That's just my thought, anyway. I'm sure everyone's having a great time at the party. I'm probably the only guy I know who'd rather spend the night working than attending any kind of social event. I don't know, that kind of sounds like me too. I'm not too much of a party person. And honestly, I kind of like my work, so. Hmm. Let's see, we're in October right now, so R-D-U-L. Is that it? C 
seems like a weird combination considering I only saw arrows. Welcome to Dr. Uh, welcome Dr. Coleman. How can I help you? Experiment zero files. Hmm. Interesting. We got little games. Sure. Sorry, games have been disabled by your administrator. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay. Uh, is there anything else to click on? I don't think so. So let's just go on to the control station again. All right, I think it was RDUL. Huh. Oh, wait. Right, down, up, left. Okay, I get it. Right, down, up, left. There we go. Real impressive, Richard. Okay, the doors are open. I'm going in. Let's head over to the clean room. Hacker voice. I'm in. I know it's restricted access, but if you need any help hunting rats, I'm sure I can fit uh, into one of those suits. I don't think the regulations... Just kidding, I know you have a phobia when it comes to breaking rules. I'll be watching from the control station. Alright, so let's put on the clean suit. Now that we are dressed, let's push the button. And let's head into the clean room. Okay, here we go. Bzz. I turned down the cam systems. Shout if you need anything. Let's see, is there another button I can hit? Nope, just gotta click. Hey, Linda, could you increase the temperature a bit? It's freezing in here. I'm on it. Much better, thanks. Vents. Let's see if we can see anything. I'm not hearing those noises anymore. Whatever it was, it's probably gone now. Are you sure? I'm not seeing anything that raises cause for concern. But just to be safe, I'll ask the maintenance team to replace the filters tomorrow. Better safe than sorry. Um. Window to control station. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Did you find any rats yet? <laughs> uh, box. I better leave this alone. I wouldn't want to break their refrigerator system. Ah, okay, there's still a thing right here. That's where we keep the Elysian. Oh, okay. Is there, any, is there anything else to click on? Secure compartment. Which I already clicked on. The control station. The vent. Oh, I had to click on it again. A screw. Big one. Hmm. Okay, I think we can officially declare this a false alarm. Everything looks normal here. Linda, I'm done here. You can open the door. I think you should check the Elysian. Make sure it's intact. I really don't think it's necessary. Everything's fine. Besides, I'd rather not open the secure compartment if it's not absolutely crucial. You know how much that thing creeps me out. Richard, I'd do it for you, but you are the only person with fingerprint access. We both heard the noises. We don't want any surprises. Ah, uh, fine. The Elysian. 
The reason behind all the security surrounding my job at the lab and my many sleepless nights. It was found in the Antarctic a, uh, a month ago, and all our studies have been inconclusive so far. It wasn't made by human hands, but I fear it was created with humans in mind. Whatever it is, it doesn't belong on Earth, that's for sure. I knew it couldn't hurt anyone if we kept it in the lab under strict control, but it's not safe anymore. If, cre if uh, its creators finally found it, and they want it back. Everything okay in there? No signs of contamination as far as I can see. Nothing else to click on. That's a very interesting little pyramid there. Maybe we... Oh, shit, it's about to hit the fan! What's happening, Linda? Linda, can you hear me? Better not spook me out! Linda? Oh! <laughs> who, who are you? Where's Linda? What have you done to her? Psst, quick. What do you want? You came for this thing, right? What is it? What are you going to do with it? Oh, temperature's decreasing. Uh, or increasing? That thing wants me to freeze to death. Oh, there's the negative. The stew will keep me warm for a few minutes, but it won't hold out for long. I've got to do something quick. I was terrified, blinded by fear. That creature tricked us into opening the secure compartment to get the Elysian. With Linda most likely dead, I felt the fate of all hum of hu all humankind weighing on my shoulders. So, in the end, I did the only thing I could do. Even if it was ultimately foolhardly and pointless, I found the strength to somewhere inside to escape the lab with the Elysian and run. Boink. Maybe I can bash it in or something? Oh no! What to do? Give me the box. Can I open the box? Open the box. The sensor controls the refrigeration system. I need to find a way to disable it before I freeze to death. Uh, a screwdriver. Handy that. Detaching the cables didn't do anything. I need to find a way to break the short circuit the refrigeration system. Uh. Oh. What's well, a bummer? Well, maybe that screw. There we go. Now it, I have it, and let's go and throw this screw into the thing. Uh, it should be conductive, and it's long enough to connect both ends of cables. Let's head into the vent. Let's get out of here. Oh, God. What's this? Oh, it's a little toy robot. So you're the one who is making a racket in here. You're not a rat after all. <laughs> but why the hell are you thrown in the vents? Um, I don't, I don't see anything on it. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything. Nothing flashing up. All right, let's just back off from it. Whew, it dark in here. Oh! Okay. So, a little spooky. Now I gotta escape these aliens. I should take the suit off. I can barely move. But first, I need to find somewhere safe to put the Elysian. 
I'm not touching it with my bare hands. You could at least just take off the helmet part. Ah, uh, lead-coated suitcases. They are perfect for carrying dangerous materials safely, at least for a few hours. Elysian, put you in there, and boop. No, I don't need to know the combination at all. Yeah, just head out the back door. Linda's car. What the hell happened here? Those are Linda's glasses. And scratch marks. Must be a very big cat. Is that it? I I can't just turn on the car and leave? Not not even gonna say anything about the scratches? I spent the night in a motel. I didn't dare risk going back home and exposing you to this nightmare. That's why I lied to you about the unexpected gas leak in the lab. That would keep me busy all night. My superior in Washington told me to take a plane and bring the Elysian to our headquarters. He thought it would be safe there. But in the end, it was all for nothing. I was trapped inside this airplane, and I had to find a way to avoid the Elysian falling into the creature's hands. But what did happen to all the people? Come on, you want the Elysian? Then come get it. You'll have to kill me like you did Linda and all the other passengers on this plane. Is anybody there? Hello? The radio! I can hear the radio! I need to get in there and call for help. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Ooh, is it? No, the control box doesn't do anything. Let's see, anything good? I got an umbrella! Um, anything up here? Nope. Oh, it's a cabinet. It's a open fire extinguisher. Okay. Hmm. What am I going to do with a fire extinguisher and an umbrella? And I still have this notepad? Why do I still have the notepad? Door? I need to leave this plane as soon as possible, but killing myself won't solve anything. Maybe I could use him. Well, um, nope, fire, fire extinguisher on, oh, um, hmm, the window, fire extinguisher on, the, oh, there we go! Can't reach it! There we go! Oh my god! It's flying on its own! That creature must be controlling it somehow, or it's on autopilot. Got a parachute. Playing instruments. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hello, is anyone there? I need help. Hello. Damn, it's broken. Well, worth a shot. All right, time to go. Time to go jump out of plane. Do I still have the suitcase with me? Ah, fuck it. Okay, I got the parachute. Let's do this. The Elysian. I can't leave without it. Oh God! Well, I didn't die. I didn't get shot out the plane. So that's interesting that that did done happen. Not whatever. Um, how do we land? Ow. Arg. <laughs> Here's what you wanted. Just come and get it. Come on. Do what you have to do. I don't care. I can't do this anymore. It's been literally like 
12 hours. I guess this is how it ends. Madison, my love, I, I don't know how to explain all this in just a few words. I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. I thought I would be safe by now. Linda! Oh my god, your face! Hello, Richard. I'm such a fool. It was you from the beginning. Please, I beg you. Just let- uh, just tell me what is that thing. I need to know. Such a fascinating work of engineering, don't you think? It's been our eyes and ears here on Earth for more than a century now. Until you locked it in that stupid sealed room, blocking its transmission. Now that it's working again, you'll have some really interesting neighbors very soon. No. No. Oh. Here they come. No, please, Linda. Cheer up, Richard. Your new life starts now. Bink. <laughs> I just like, I just love that, just like, light switch sound. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, what? Are you okay? The third time I've asked you if you want honey on your cereal. Is something wrong? I'm fine, don't In fact, I'm feeling great this morning. Quite energized. I dare say, happy. I think today will be a great day. Midnight scenes. The goodbye note. All right, I have no fucking clue what just happened. <laughs> Did they get turned into robots or something? I feel like robots is probably the best at uh, explaining it, but um, I'm not quite too sure. Um. Anyways, I really love these midnight scenes. Uh, excuse me. This is, this is honestly really good very good story um it went really well like except for like at the very beginning whenever it had that kind of weird freeze but honestly super super good love this absolutely fantastic um and if you guys want to play this game for yourselves i'll leave a link to it in the description below but thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a like please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe on your way out this is cyrewolf signing off